Here we have a 2008 Alfa Romeo 159 Sportback Ti in black. Starting with the offside front tyre first. Just checking that centre of the tread depth. As you can see we are looking at dot on 6mm to tread on the offside front tyre. Offside front alloy, as you can see there is some curbing around the alloy itself. So it will require a refurb. Lovely looking alloy though. As you can see around the offside front arch, I've got some scuff marks here that are going to require a smart repair. Also a very long deep scratch along the offside front bumper there as well. So that's obviously going to require a smart repair. Being black on a sunny day, it's going to show everything under the sun. Uh, obviously the aluminium mirrors there. Look at the driver's door itself. Now there is some scratches that will require a mop and polish. That one's a bit deep, that will require some paint work. Some light scratches all along the bottom of the driver's door here will require a good mop and polish. Touch-ins in the door edge as well. Door sills aren't too bad, you've got your roof bars and sunroof on there as well. Rear privacy glass on this one. Rear passenger door. Again, it looks like it's had a little bit of paint. Um, as you can see, my reflection looks a bit blurry. Um, whereas on the front door, it's a little bit better, as you can see. So it does like it's had a little bit of paint on the rear door. Definitely needs uh, some paint around here. As you can see, there's a lot of stone chips towards the rear arch. Also a heavy scuff underneath the door there. It's took the paint off there as well, so just be wary of that. Some scratches and marks around the back on the rear arch. You can see it's got a scuff mark that's taking the paint off there. Um, also looks like there's a little bit of paint on the rear bumper there as well. Uh, rear tyre. Taking a look at the tread. As you can see, we're looking at 7mm of tread there, or just under. Offside rear alloy. Again, there is some curbing around the alloy itself. So again, going to require a refurb here. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Looking at the rear bumper, you can see what rear parking sensors. Looking at the boot itself, a little bit of rust there just underneath the badge. As you can see, there's a little bit of moisture or condensation in the actual light itself. So it could be a slight leak there. As you can see, there's a little bit of a crack on the rear light there, so that's probably where the moisture is coming from. Again, no serious signs of any damage, but again, there are some light scratches all on the back of the loading bay here, so definitely to require a mop and polish there. Also, some touching as it's taken the paint off a bit. Take a look inside the boot. As you can see, you've got your rear parcel shelf. Uh, you've got a spare wheel here. That just needs clipping back in. Spare wheel, um, but there is a spare wheel underneath there as well. Um, so it looks like there's two spare wheels, so just be wary of that one. Moving around to the near side, because the near side rear tyre. Again, we are looking at about 7mm of tread there on the near side. Near side rear quarters, not bad. Light scratches all around the rear arch. And then a refurb to the near side rear alloy as well. As you can see, there is some uh, curb marks around there. Looking down the near side of the vehicle. Again, there is one or two small dinks, the same as the offside. So there's a couple of dinks on both sides. Um, some stone chips all around this rear archway again. As you can see, a little bit of rust appearing on the rear door there as well. Light scratches going down both the doors will definitely require a good full body mop and polish. As you can see, got some wearing there along the door sill as well. Moving around to the rear mirror, as you can see, some scratches there on the mirror itself. And as you can see, just above the, uh, the rear door, you can see some paint is starting to peel. Um, doesn't seem to be coming off, so I'm not sure what that is. Um, you can see there's a few patches of it on the roof as well. Um, doesn't seem to be coming off with the nail, so not quite sure what that is. Moving around the front arch, looking at the front tyre. Again, we're looking at 6mm of tread there. Near side front alloy will definitely require a refurb. There's also a bit of a chunk of the tyre there as well. So again, definitely require a refurb to this front alloy. Moving around to the front end of the vehicle, you've got a very large scuff on the near side front quarter, that's definitely to require a smart repair there, you can see it's scuffed all the bottom as well, so definitely to require a smart there. Some scratches all along the bonnet of the vehicle, also along with some stone chips as well. Again that scratch which I showed you earlier, some scratches around the front as well as some uh, touchings as well, some stone chips. There we go, that's the exterior, if we look at inside the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, you've got the full back leather. 
with the Alfa Romeo stitched in there. Again, lovely looking interior. It's in nice condition as well. No signs of any damage at all to the leather. Back of the seats are looking great as well. Take a look at the driver's seat. Again, looks great. Um, slight bit of wear into the bolster. Again, that's just age related. Electric memory seats as well, and they are heated through there. Front passenger seat also looks very well. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, as you can see, Alfa Romeo's do look lovely, look, lovely looking car. Slight bit of wear into the steering wheel, but again, not too bad for its age. Two sets of keys with the vehicle. And if we just get the car started up, insert the key and hold the start button. No issue at all starting the vehicle to start first time. Mileage 56,359 on the clock, no symbols appearing on the dash, and the car does run nicely. CD and radio, no issues at all there. Um, if you just turn this on, a little bit hard to see. Does come on, your air conditioning there, lights indicating it's on and off. No issues with the blowers either. Automatic transmission on this one, you've also got the sunroof, which as you can see, if we just turn it that way, Works perfectly fine, no issues at all there, which is nice. And looking at the V5 for the vehicle, the car's had two owners, so two owners on the vehicle. MOT here until March 7th, 2016, so you get a good year's MOT and service history. As you can see here, if you're trying it at the sun, you've got 15, 28, 39, and 43, so plenty of service history with the car. There we go guys, that's the 2008 Alfa Romeo 159 Ti Sportback and uh, not a bad looking car for its age.